So I, I went to meet God and said, okay, you appointed him, you're the one that you know, anointed him for this. So you do your job, but this is how I feel. And I heard a knock on my door very early in the night. And he said, I know, I know you are right. And sorry. I'm like, I'm like, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, well, and we are, we are fine. Like, you know, we were in, a, in my mind, I'm like, ah, God, that's a sorry, bye bye. Hi, friends. You're welcome to the Shining Light Show. Our guest today, as you probably already know, is Moro Molua Tike Tike Apology. This is one interview that I know a lot of you have been anticipating and trust me, it was worth the wait. Now before we get into the interview, I wanted to give a quick background about her for those of you who are not familiar. Moro Moluwa Tiketike is a Nigerian actress, content creator, voiceover artist, anchor and event host. She is often referred to as the happy soul and some of you may know her as Mommy Pastor which by the way is her most popular skit character. She is one of Nigeria's fast rising Christian content creators. Within just three years she's built a community of more than 200,000 avid followers on Instagram and other social Social media platforms. We talked about her mom, gratitude, and the importance of prayer. Get ready for a refreshing time with Moro Molua Tike Tike. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. You. We are so happy to have you. Thank you. I mean, like some months ago, your husband was here, and now you're here. Thank you to the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> and baby is here. And baby is here, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank um, you. So I really like your journey and your growth on social media is very, very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Were you expecting the kind of growth that you've had over, can you tell us about it? And also like, were you expecting it to be that fast and? Of course, when God breaks on something, there's always growth and there's always speed and there's always grace to do more. So not like I, I expected, okay, this is how, you know, nobody can say, okay, this is how we grow. I know, but you know, God does have a way of doing his thing and he has brought the numbers and he has brought his people so we thank God, we give our glory back to God. <laughs> okay, so since you started, like what is the thing that you think has surprised you the most that you did not expect um, um, from doing content creation, like as a Christian or cre creating Christian content? I know that people could relate to my type of content, but maybe the love, the support, like when I post a video, I think the lowest view I get on the video is 100k, yes. So I think that is what already shocked me the most. I'm like, people are watching. <laughs> then I go and meet my husband. People are watching, people are commenting. And it's like, oh yes, it's good. Not glory to God. <laughs> so I think it's that um, turnout. I think that's what surprised me the most, especially when I see celebrities that I love and they're now commenting and I'm like, Babe, look at this person commented <laughs> on my video. So that was the first time like you saw somebody and you were like, what? This person, you know, that's uh, my video. T.Y. Bello, wow. Funky Akidele. Then yesterday, this year, you come following me. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I saw the post. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. people that I love, they just, you know, like top people, I'm like, and it, it just reminds me of um, God's word to me beginning of the year. And that he said, I will bring my people mm. and bring. So there were, there were times that I wanted to meet some people. And I'm like, ah, if I meet this person, I will just faint. People will carry me. In fact, everybody must snap me and all. And one way or the other, one way or the other, God brought them to me. God said, okay, it is time. In every season of my life, you know, God is always saying, you don't need this person yet. You just want to farm this person. You don't need this person. When you need them, I will bring them. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I met with um, Daddy and Mommy, my grandma, Louie. I used to be like, because people say, oh, you look like Louie, yeah, you do actually. <laughs> 
so I used to, I, I used to tell my family members, my friends, that ah, the day I finally meet Mommy Glory, my family, I will faint. <laughs> if I there must be camera everywhere, everybody must snap me. I have to frame the picture. You know, I was just saying it years back. And when I met her, it was in one of their sitting room in their house. We, we had to we were set yeah. for 30 pieces. And I went to her mommy was like, she just came downstairs and she just Peleo, money I want the other pele congratulations. No, the moment is in front of the cameras. Uh, then daddy came downstairs and said, ah, how are you? It was a few weeks after our wedding. Okay. Ah, I know that I just nailed down there and the two of them were praying for me. Wow. Like, ah. So at that moment, the camera did not matter. Did not matter because yeah. at that time, that was already in partition for me. Mm -hmm. And that, it just made me remind when because if you, when you need them, Mm -hmm. I will bring them. Before, you just wanted to say, because, ah, I know celeb, I know celeb. But now that you need them, now that I've entered into a movie fully, yeah. now you need them. These are your parents now in mm -hmm. the movie industry, in the Christian movie industry. You need them, I will bring them. So, mm -hmm. yes, that's, that's, don't let me tell yes. too much. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it, that's a very, very important point because, like, this is our generation. Everybody wants to hustle to meet this person. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just a lot of hustling, <laughs> you know, to meet celebrities, but there's really no depth to why mm -hmm. exactly you want to meet that person. And I think what you said about God telling you that when you need them, I'll bring bring them your way is very, very important. So how did you know that you were going to do, like, this was what you wanted to do? Or did you, like, how did you know? Uh, not like I woke up one morning and said, yes, it is time to do content creating. So I think the, let me call it launching into this um, new era was when I was privileged to officially open 2020, 2021, this 2023. Yes. 2021, that was lockdown. We were in lockdown, 2020. We were in lockdown. Yeah, we were lockdown. We were on lockdown in 2020, and I think part of 2021. Okay, yes, 2020. Yes, it was 2020. I was privileged to officially open the annual convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Mm. So when I came, you know, we were recording because, of course, people could not come for convention or not. And that moment, I I think I basked in the fullness of my name. So I just said, my name is Muramolo Atike Tike Abola. I'm sorry. <laughs> Akimburiwa. <laughs> Akimburiwa. And from that moment that people watched the convention, I love your name. I love your name. I'm like, oh, so Muramolo Atike Tike is, you know, my name is Muramolo but my mommy calls me Muramolo Atike Tike when she wants to send me an errand. Okay. You know, there's always that special name when parents yeah. want to scam you. I okay, know. so the Tike Tike is. It's just a and, 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 okay. <laughs> So I just backed in the fullness of that name and from that, from lockdown, of course, everybody became a content creator from lockdown. I know it just depends on what you're creating. Yeah. <laughs> so I took my phone, I started me making people, of course, pastor's wife that I lived with all my life that I've grown to see because mm -hmm. when I was growing up, it was church, house, school. We leave the house, we go to school, school bus drop us in the church. They pick us from church back Drop home. me in the church. Like, <laughs> like where we are living. In fact, I had, I had the, my lesson to try to come to the church to teach us lesson. Wow. Then, and it's not just me because my other siblings were, you know, they were grown already, oh, okay. I know. So we had like a school behind the church that would do lesson, I know, then back home. Mm. So Monday, Tuesday, digging people, is it fake clinic? Wednesday, women prayer meeting, I'm going to church. <laughs> Thursday, uh, fake clinic, I'm back to church because I can't go back home and yeah. now come back church home. Then Friday, something. Maybe Friday night, VG. Saturday, workers, something, something. Sunday, that's the circle. So I lived my life seeing all these pastors' wife, different type of pastors' wife, and mm. also, who else would I mimic? <laughs> <laughs> and again, my mom is a, she's a wonderful woman. She's a drama queen. Sometimes I used to wish that there were cameras in our house to just, you know, take moments. <laughs> Or not throwing shades or you know just doing that. Well, you're giving us snippets like, in your videos. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so those were the people. Those were the people I live to, you know, see and know. So I had to mimic them. Yeah. Lockdown, I started creating content, you know, 
then I'm like, are you creating it for the followers? Are mm. you creating it for... But so even said something, people that are doing it for the money should not do it better than people doing it for souls. Mm. I'm like, okay. Then I started becoming intentional. I'm like, okay. The episode, okay. That is stage one. Stage two, my page is going to be a place where people come and say, yes, this is what God told me. Ah, thank you so much. I felt so relieved. Someone, <laughs> one big girl in the industry sent me a message and said, I had a tough time in my factory today and I went to your page and I have been laughing more. I have not laughed in a week now. Wow. You know, so you see, so stuff like that just, mm-hmm. you know, make me happy and I say, okay, People are coming here. People are coming to get relieved. You will laugh in Jesus' name. <laughs> if you don't laugh, you will get <laughs> God's <laughs> word. At least you will get you will get, <laughs> you will get a message, and that message is going to be for you. So I put something, and someone say, "This is what God has been laying on my heart." Mm. I'm like, "Okay, yes, we are making progress." Now, second stage is confirmation of God's word and affirmation of God's love. Mm. So I try to do something that people can relate with. I'm not. I'm not perfect. So we tell them, I'm going through stuff too. We just, everyone just call me and just smile on camera. And all. So you tell them, you're not alone. That's what God's word for me last, late last year till the beginning of this year. I'm not alone. But if, if I'm from secondary school, I know that I've never been alone. Because well, sometimes when I don't do my assignment and I ask somebody, did you? Not, <laughs> not, I've always known I will not be alone. Is it whether I'm good or bad, God have mercy on me. <laughs> I know I'm not alone. So creating content from lockdown, to 2021, 2022, 2023, it's just God's grace mm. and God's speed mm. and God's breath. Because, you know, God just made me understand that when I breathe into something, when he created man, he could have left him as dust mm. and just say, oh yeah, go. Then man will be like this, moving, I know, like robot, I know, but Bible says God breathed life. Mm. So God has made me understand that when you breathe into something, there's always life. Yeah. So whatever anybody do, as long as <laughs> just pray that God just breathe life into this thing. I know. So it has just been God's breath. Yeah. Yes. Like um, our president to say breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it has just been <laughs> that for breathe. <laughs> it's just just because God's breath. <laughs> God's breath. Oh, God. Yes. So that is that. <laughs> so, and I picked it up and I knew that, okay, the it was great. Mm. People were enjoying it. I was enjoying it. I was getting fulfillment. You know, when you do purpose, part of fulfillment in purpose was there. Yeah. So I was getting fulfillment in in this line in content creating yeah. and i started meeting people and god started bringing his people and i'm like okay then brand started coming mm. and i started making money and you know it just made me realize that yes the gift of man we indeed pay way for him yeah. and that is the story so <laughs> What's the meaning of your name? You said that you started to bask in the... Yes, my name means I cling to God, more Lua. Hmm. So it's Murum, I cling to God. Then the ticket came is Murum, Lua. The ticket came is I cling to God. Family. Wow. I will not fall. That's like... Deep. Amazing. Yeah. Deep name. Deep. <laughs> like it just, ask, there was a time I had to ask my mom, what were you going through? <laughs> What were you going? And when she explained, I was like, ah, no wonder. It has to be that name. It uh, has, no, that one I was going through. Ah, no, 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 no. It has to uh, be that name. And no, let's say so. It has to be. And I, I think it also reveals like the level of her depth in terms of her relationship with, with God. God. Yes. 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 My mom is. Hmm. I I posted one video one time that you better not be my mom's enemy. Mm-hmm. I saw you it. You better not be my mom's enemy. <laughs> there was a time that you know my sister was having an ill intellectual, and my mom said, "What's his name?" <laughs> and my sister said, "Oh, this is the name of the man." I know. And my mom said, "Okay." Then my mom went to the school, carried wine, and said, "Ha, I could touch your money." Person show mommy, no, no, she my buying show mommy. Now imagine you're a Yoruba person. Ah. So how are you doing, my daughter? We don't need to know. Don't what is with, between you and your God. And you know, my mom gave the person wine. I prayed for the man. Person by me told you, my my daughter said you're a very wonderful man. Ah. That was the last time we heard about that man's oh trouble. My God, La- honestly, even when I was in school, I remember when philosophy. Hey. 
philosophy was like my nightmare. Mathematics, no. Another story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> and I told my mommy philosophy. You know those lecturers that used to tell you that, hi, I hope you know what philosophy means and I hope you know who I am. You know, there's a different, different thing passing the course uh-huh. than passing the lecturer. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> my mom said, Kileru Koe. I told him, Kini Kosinye. Kokoloji. I told my mom, tomorrow is this exam. <laughs> if I'm, you know, there are some courses that when you fail and you carry over, you keep carrying it. Uh-huh. You, you, oh, no, no, no. You just keep carrying it. I know. I said, Mommy, I must not fail this course. Mommy said, Kokoloji. You know, lost soon. Eh, eh. Toba wati jiole waka we. Leave the rest to God. Ah. Hmm. When I was saying D, I said, yes. <laughs> this D is, is, is a golden D. <laughs> Let me go. Let my people go. <laughs> Let, <laughs> hey, it's too, hey, what do I need? Hey, D, I just, and I passed that course like that. Those scale through. <laughs> and also my mom is, you know when they say, hey, my mom's prayer keeps me going. Mm. Yes. I'm there. What's up at me? <laughs> Um, I'm, 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 I'm the ring leader. Oh my god. Okay, so I think um it's very amazing to hear the stories of mothers and like raising being raised in this very powerful spiritual environment. Mm-hmm. Always going to church every day. But at what point did you realize that ah, I need to know God by myself? Or did you start actually seeking that relationship with God? Ah, in school. Yeah, it was in school. When I was in Jusufa Ibabala University, it's a Christian school. <laughs> so I got to know God for myself in school because you are alone. There are some things that, you know, you can't just... I mean, I just go that you are mommy. I know there are some battles you have to fight for yourself. There are some relationships you have to build for yourself and you have to do it with God's help. So school, my school had a lot of chapel activities. But, you know, we go to first month of the first day of the month. We have prayer um, every Wednesday, every Friday, every Saturday, something. In fact, there are some activities that you know we just we have a lot of chapel activities mm-hmm. that will just encourage you to stay in, to stay in faith and all. So in school, boy, you know, after school, we think that you know, there is more to life. <laughs> there is more to life than just you know. Waking up to see your most annoying lecturer. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you go always during service again and say, okay, there is more to life. <laughs> then you marry, oh, there is more to life. <laughs> then you have a baby, aha, there is more to life. <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is more to life. But I think from school, I just took that, you know. God has just been good. Yes, from school, I got to know more. I got to know Christ more. But, you know, it's every day. You have to know him every day. There's something new about God mm-hmm. every day. Mm-hmm. Every day. He just shows up and show up, show up big. And you're like, okay, this is another side of God. So just knowing God for yourself. Yeah. Yes, from school. Yes, from school. Because there is more to life than than what we think it is. Mm-hmm. And there's a spiritual side of life. There's mm-hmm. the emotional side of life. There's the financial side of life. That one, I got to know it more last year. I'm like, oh, because I used to be this girl that I just, um, how do I say it? I'm just comfortable. Mm. So I don't yearn for more in my finances. I was like, I met my husband and my husband told him one day, and I said, if I have this talent that you have, I can never be broke. Mm. He said, hey, <laughs> she will swap. <laughs> he said, if I have this talent that you have, my wife, I will never the content I'll be creating back to back, the people I'll reach out to, the people I'll work with, I will never be broke. And one way or the other, God help my husband, you know, to help my finances. I was too comfortable. You know, it's not like I was broke, but I could have more. And there were things that I wanted to do. I'm like, I don't have money. Maybe it's not time. You know, we just Christians, we just mm. encourage ourselves, not in the Lord, in ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> when God is expecting us to do more. Mm. And, you know, I started earning more. And I'm like, babe, not k ah. You know, before I used to think that, ah, there was a time in my life, I think that when I have 100 k I will buy wigs. <laughs> I will do this. I will buy shoes and all. 
And you know, you know, life is so funny when you have hundred k. There's the problem of hundred k waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> then you know, I earn five hundred k. I said, babe, this, they just pay me like that, five hundred. Just one person. I say there is more, babe. There is more. <laughs> and you know, boy, I worked with another one, one million. Ha, <laughs> babe, what do you want? Let me spoil you. Hello, I know you are enjoying the interview, but before we continue, I just wanted to ask you for a quick favor. If you're getting value and transformation from the Shining Light Show, please subscribe to this channel, connect with us on all our social media platforms linked in the description, and share with your circle. We want to spread this message, and you never know who needs it. Like, do you know that your one million can? If you give me that one million, I know what to do with it like this. Yeah, you know, I signed, I'm like, babe, we have a father one. I'm like, ah, there is more. There is more. Oh. <laughs> so there is more to, <laughs> you have to know God for yourself. <laughs> because every area has to be balanced. You can't mm. know God and be spiritually here and your finances is here. <laughs> when you get to church and there's a project, you know, say, let's kabash. We need money. <laughs> we need money. Or, you know, your spiritual level is there and like your emotions are mm. here. Then somebody that comes to meet you in church that, you know, um, something, something, you're like, so what are we not going to do now? Are we going to do it? <laughs> do you get? And your emotions are here. You don't know how to balance it. And all. <laughs> so you need God for us. You need to know in fact, every day, every day, every day, every day, so that everything can be like this. And so that everything is just just like this, everything goes like this, yeah. like they grow together. Mm -hmm. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, I think one one thing one thing that I just can notice just watching your videos and also from the story of your mom is how important prayer is to you. And you know we we're talking about it earlier about how there is no small prayer. Mm -hmm. So can you just talk more about that? So. <laughs> I remember when I was cutting my husband and we had this disagreement. And you know, sometimes women we are right. They don't just agree that we are right. And they feel that they think that we are always right. But this particular day, I was very right. And I told him, oh, this is how I feel. My husband was like, okay, my friends at that time was like, ah, da, 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 da. I was so angry. I'm like, and I don't like having... Issues. Of course, there's always chicken fight and all. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't just like when I have issues with him and everything because all the gist I want to gist, all the like, we just hang it somewhere. And, um, and that day I fasted. It was on a Wednesday. I can never forget. I said, God, I am right. But I know that I will have to beg him, but I am right. And this thing is pinning me that it just, you know, sometimes my husband can be so. It's right, so do you get? But I'm right now. I'm, I'm so right. <laughs> I'm right. I know what I'm saying. Don't make it look like, oh, your yeah, emotions are raised everywhere. Yeah. Do you get? I know. And I told God, see, there's not in my place to correct this one. Because sometimes I used to feel like I can correct my husband. And God told me one time that he's a man of God. I appointed him. You did not appoint me. You're just his wife. So instead of you, you know, there's sometimes you can't correct your boss all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't. So I, I went to meet God and say, okay, you were appointed him. You are the one that, you know, anointed him for this. So you do your job. But this is how I feel. I am coming to you as a daughter because it's also your son. Mm -hmm. And I told God, I was so angry that day. And I called her. And because we're still on camp together. And, <laughs> and I heard it knock on my door around, you know, very early in the night. And said, um, Ah, uh, so how are you? <laughs> ah, you see the too strong guy. You better say sorry. <laughs> so I came with peace offering. <laughs> I know, I know you are right, but you know I also want you to understand. But you are right, and sorry. I'm like, ah. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, well, yeah, I'm fine. Like, you know, we were in, a, in my mind, I'm like, ah, oh, that's a sorry, bye bye. If I wanted to say, I wanted the apology to be longer than this, but you know, one step at a time. Then I saw the piece of it was a ring light. I'm like, oh, it's oh. fine, thank you. All right, now, bye bye, good night, it's late. Immediately shut the door like that. I'm like, ha! Oh, 
there's not we will say different instances, different instances mm-hmm. to what I wear sometimes. I'm like, God, I want to look. I want to look good in this dress. But at the same time, I want something that will be so, you know, comfortable. To shoes, to makeup, to... When I was picking this dress, I said, I don't want to look... I don't want to come down. There, there are colors everywhere. I don't know if we are going to be using a green background. I don't know anything. I know. And when I, st- when I saw your dress, I'm like, okay. You know, <laughs> compliment so, each you other. Get, you get. This, that's why it does, it does... Every time, I just know that there is no small prayer. My mom keeps saying it. There's no small prayer. So when I'm cooking, I'm like, God, I'm very I'm tired. Let me this food just... You know, it's not as if you are saying it like, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are just saying it out there that God, mm. it does hear me. I know you can hear, you always hear me, but yeah. this particular time, just help me. Give me extra help. Mm. And, um, so there's no small prayer. There's no small prayer. Huh? There's no small prayer. And, <laughs> there are so many instances, there are so many testimonies. And I think God even has... Ah, I remember one time when one baby was liking my husband, husband to be, ah, this girl was all over him. I'm like, God. <laughs> I remember one time, my friend's mom, you know, there was somebody liking, you know, our partner. The woman said, oh, no, my phone is Oh, no, my wrong one is Ah, I said, God, you love me wrong one is And there are a couple of these, my husband was like, ah, I don't even know why this guy, I don't even know. She not they message me again. I said, <laughs> <laughs> ah, God has done it. <laughs> God has done it. And there are some things my husband talked to me about. And I'm like, ah, I prayed now. Ah, of course, God has to it. <laughs> God has to it. I mean, you know. So I've just lived my life knowing that, you know, there's no small prayer. There's no small prayer. Yeah. I forgot the question, but I know that. <laughs> No, you, you I know, that you was mean. yeah. Thank you so much for sharing those experiences. Um, I think one thing I've noticed about you, and you also put it in your bio, um, the joyful, the happy soul, the happy soul, yes. And um, yeah, I mean, like, what does that mean? And also, how can someone maintain their joy? You know, it's I think it's very powerful what people like you are doing. Um Obviously, watching a, 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 a skit on Instagram, knowing that there's a spirit behind it, and and somehow, somehow, it's just going to lift up the burdens of people and make them smile and laugh. But when, when they are not able to be on Instagram, just like in life generally, how can somebody, like, are there things that you do to just maintain your joy and to stay happy, you know? Gratitude. Mm. Gratitude has been uh, one of the major forces of staying happy for me. It's not like I don't have things that I'm going through, or things that make me sad at some point, but it's gratitude. Mm-hmm. When I feel like, oh God, I am so sad, and it just reminds me that, you know, I have done a million and one thing. Think of that. So you're like, oh, okay. You know, sometimes when you're going through something, you're like, ah, oh, oh my God, this face there. You know, I remember that. Somebody out there, this is another person's starting point. Yeah. But this is another person's worst nightmare and everything. I'm like, it's gratitude. I've replaced my complaint with gratitude. So at times I feel like, God, oh, this is not working out. I say, God, I thank you. Every time I'm praying, I say, God, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you will do. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you will not do. Because I know that all of this are working in my favor. So times I'm feeling sad and everything, I just say thank you. So I thank him and in thank him in advance for bringing me out of that face. So I say thank you. This is not a good time, but thank you. I remember when when one of my sisters was very strong, and I was praying. The family was praying, of course, because it was a very wonderful face in our life, and I said I was just going to thank God. So it was like, we are thanking God for our healing. But you know, sometimes you still want to ask. I'm like, God, I thank you for our healing. Thank you for healing and everything. But God, I beg, you know, this is a very wonder. <laughs> just bring us, just let this thing pass. I know. But it's gratitude. Gratitude. Mm. You know, you your is saying, when you think, you will think. It's when you don't think. When you're focusing on that pain, you will not think of mm. what God has done. Mm. But when you 
try to like it's not easy it's not easy you know imagine somebody losing somebody and you not say let's thank god thank god for for how for what mm-hmm. do you get how do you tell somebody that has lost a child or a husband and say ah, sister let's just thank god at least mommy is alive that is how how do you say that mm-hmm. but you know god will just uh, uh, that's a story for another day. Gratitude. <laughs> gratitude is one thing that I always tell people to, to replace complaints with gratitude. To wow. replace in the moment you start saying, God, thank you. If I thank you for this face, I know because I don't know what you are doing. I don't know what you are saving me from. I don't know what is yet to come out of this pain. I don't know whatever you are teaching me, whatever you are even, you know, protecting me from. But I thank you. Lord, I thank you because I know that you will not plan evil for me intentionally. Mm-hmm. But not intentionally. It's that you will not plan evil yeah. for me. So gratitude. Gratitude is just what gives me joy. Even when things are not going on. Mm-hmm. I just say thank you, God. Thank you. And the moment I start, you know, saying it more, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Then and I start thinking that really this situation is not that bad. Because you could have gotten worse than mm-hmm, this. Mm-hmm. So thank you. Thank you that is level one. Because if I if I focus on the pain, I cannot start thinking of the worst things that mm-hmm. could have happened. So yeah. gratitude. Gratitude does restore my joy or my happiness mm-hmm. for that moment and does take my mind off the pain. Yeah, literally, I mean the Bible says count your blessings. Mm-hmm. Like and it's to surprise you what God has done. Yes, so. The moment you start counting, ah, even starting from, first of all, I have a sound mind. Like, my mind is functioning. That's a huge mm-hmm. testimony. Huge one, no? And then, mm-hmm. like, I can move my body. I can see. I can talk. Mm-hmm. Little things like that. And then, like, expanding it to remembering what God has done for you. Mm-hmm. I remember the story of David and Goliath. He literally recounted that this was the same God that saved me from the bear, you know, saved me from the lion. lion. He would definitely deliver me from this giant. And like testimonies and gratitude was like a major, played a major role mm. in that. And also that I remember there's a quote that says that a grateful heart is a magnet for blessings. Mm-hmm. So it's, it doesn't just definitely immediately, like it has an immediate effect of just changing your mood and mm-hmm. your attitude, but it also attracts blessings. And I think this is very important especially at this time that we are in in Nigeria with everything going on not just in Nigeria in the world like it just seems like there are more negatives Mm -hmm. and it's easy to fall into the trap of complaining and recounting all the things that didn't work Mm -hmm. out but God has been faithful like Mm -hmm. what is working for us is way more than what is working against us yes you know so thank you so much for that I think we can wrap up but we have to play a game (laughs) before we end don't worry it's not hard it's just rapid fire get to know me so get to know get to know each other (laughs) thank you so the questions are here and the questions are actually on my phone but you just pick a number okay how do we do it maybe so I'll, I'll pick, pick, yeah, you pick a, a number and then you have to answer the question. I think okay. I will also answer some questions. Okay. Even do you have the questions? Yes, yeah, even do I have the questions, but okay. I don't know the number that I'm going to pick. Okay. So you can start. Okay. Hmm. Lord Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it's true. I kind of have an advantage because I already, but they are not, it's just like things. Simple question. Hey, it's in. It's in. <laughs> oh, what is one thing that instantly makes no? Yes, what is one thing that instantly makes your day better? Ah, uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you eating today? <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up late this morning and I said. Hey, Ajibola, breakfast is going to end in this place by 10 a.m. Let's go now. Oh my God, I love oh, that. Food. Let me be honest, please, food. <laughs> Do you cook? 
Uh, yes. She I will do. be expecting a cookathon from you. Ah, Nebo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ah, food, please. Yeah, food. that's that's very. Actually, food that they've made already, not something that I've not start cooking. Yes. Yeah, ah, food, please. Let's be honest. Are you are you <laughs> are you um adventurous when it comes to food? Like, do you eat any? Do you try out food or you're yeah, just like on a scale of one to six. ten? Let me say six. Six. Yes. Ah, that's high. It depends on if there's toilet around. <laughs> I have to be serious. Is that your major concern? Yes. <laughs> not the taste, ah, no, Like, ah. you don't mind trying it, It's a place of relief. <laughs> well, no, let's try it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay, my own number is 19. Ah, ah, you picked 18. Yeah, I picked 19. Okay. Let's see. When did you first feel like an adult? Hmm. When did I first feel like an adult? This is a tricky Can question. You abuse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you will know that yes. Ah, yes. I remember when I felt first felt like an adult. So when when my husband and I got married, and we moved, obviously started living alone in our our houses and everything, and I think for like two days we forgot to lock the door. Because normally in my parents' house, like my dad would go around and make sure that all the doors are locked. Mm-hmm. So it just dawned on me, like, God, like I'm on my own. <laughs> like I have to make sure these little things are taken care of. So yeah, that was definitely the first time I felt like an adult. Yeah. And we have to answer all these questions, I mean. No, not all. Maybe we'll just do five. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, oh, okay. What is your earliest memory? Earliest memory? Maybe like, as a child, what was the first thing like you ever remember doing as a child? Ah. <laughs> major thing, right? Maybe it doesn't have to be major. Like I know, I remember my first, my earliest memory. I think I was like, I must have been maybe three years old coming back from school. I remember my brother running out to greet me. That's a funny memory. I just remember that. Ah. Hey, memory was in church. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> I remember, yes. And we had to rehearse, 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 rehearse in the car, rehearse when we got to my daddy's office in church. Ah, memory. I think it was, yes, I think that's to Definitely has to do with it. Has to be memory with church. Was, I remember. <laughs> memory was, yes. But let me ask, what is the, your fondest, this is not on the okay. story, because I, mm-hmm. I get to ask the questions. So oh, of course. Maybe can Enjoy. invite me to your own show. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> What's the um the fondest memory you have of your mom? Because I know she has a major influence on the kind of content yeah. you do. So a lot, but one of the one of my that made a, a very strong impression. One of my favorite was when I had my surgery, and my mom is the what surgery? Um, appendicitis. Oh, okay. So my mom is the I'm mean, like. My dad is the soft one. My dad's like, oh, really? Oh, sorry, are you fine? My dad can't stand us in pain. And my mom is oh. like, clean your eyes now. <laughs> clean it. Are you done crying? Clean it. Clean it. Let's go outside. Hey, Lemma. <laughs> my mom is that person that will beat you in the car and say, now smile. Smile. I love your mom. Like, I need to do that. <laughs> but my dad is the. Sorry. My dad can't tell you sorry, but my mom, my mom said, show to jail. So well, I had my I had my surgery and my mom was there, of course. And ah <laughs> and <laughs> I didn't I didn't wake up on time after the surgery. So when I woke up, people were telling me they were just telling me that my mom was ah, that they knew that yes. Somebody's child just finished surgery because I didn't wake up on time. And my mom was, they told me that my mom was pacing in the um hospital. in the hospital and saying, you find Tamachi and wake up I woke up in the name of Jesus. Ah. So when I woke up and my mom said, yes, Billy. Then the doctor came and said, have I farted? And I said, ah, no. First day, no, ah. First 24, um, 12 hours, no. 24 hours, no. The next day, no. Ah, my mom said, ah. I said <laughs> my mom indeed called things for honestly. He said, Sonia recordation. I said, ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? 
So when I farted, my mom said, yes, was so sick. Was so... When I when the doctor came, ah, any improvement. Mom, yeah, what is so? I so sick. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom literally called things for I think that's still one of the time that you know. It, ah, people say, ah, mom, your mom was praying. I remember when I put to bed. Ah. My mom was at the door, of course, my mom can enter the delivery room and my mom was at the window and I could hear my mommy's prayer. Ah, ah. Madam! <laughs> <laughs> so they said, Madam, please stay outside. And I could hear my mom. My, my mom came to the window and she was praying. Mm. So at some point when I pushed, I said, I'm tired. My mom said, you will not be tired. I could hear, you will not be tired in Jesus' name. Straight to your heart. Ah. My mom didn't eat until I got to the room. Wow. Until, and that was, you know, from very early in the morning to late in the evening, she did not eat. So my mm. mom's, ah, if she's a strong woman. It's a lot. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you no, think like you're going to be like that with uh, your kids? Funny enough, I think I'm already you know, picking some major things. So I remember one time when my baby wasn't sleeping, like last week, yes, he wasn't sleeping. And... No, no, when it was still one month, yes, it was not sleeping. I'm like, so what am I not going to be doing? I said, Mommy, ah, I will just be looking. Oh, look. Oh, look. I said, So imagine you are tired. You want to say, like, Jimmy, it is very tender. I said, No, 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 you can't just be like this, yeah. trying to rock your baby to sleep. My mom said, you feel it. You are praying with you. you are, the two of you have to do something. Hmm. You get it. I'm like, okay. And last week, I was just there. I'm like, okay. Really, I'm not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Right. So now, now, you heard me when I was saying, Jubilee, sleep in the name of Jesus. He gave us his beloved sleep. Sleep now in the name of Because me too, I need to sleep. <laughs> And you know, the, it just reminds you know, we keep going back to there is no small prayer. Mm-hmm. And then um, I say, Yes, sleep in the name of Jesus. I go, ah, <laughs> sleep has to come. Yes, so. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yes. Wow. Thank you so I much. Can this is yeah, you can put it. Yes, I think you should put another one. I mean, I enjoy this. Kind of <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's like, I don't want you to go, but... The moment we get... As in... <laughs> Let's round up. I know Jubilee is just borrowing us time. Okay, 17. 17. Um, oh, okay. 17 and 18 are the same. Okay. But, yeah. Maybe okay, you just pick another one. You picked 17. No, I picked one. 19. Okay. Okay, let me pick another one. Mm. You picked 18. That was... And it's the same with 17. Okay, let's take... Okay, okay. Two. Two. <laughs> ah, this one is obvious. What are you passionate about? Making people happy. Oh. <laughs> I just like to, you know, someone said that you have to leave them happier. That you met them. That you met them. Yeah. Okay. Let me pick again. <laughs> I love the enjoyment. I'm yeah, enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Okay. Six. Six. Mm, uh, we just talked about it. It's like we are flowing with the spirit too because all these questions, recent memory, okay. Okay, we've, okay, we've spoken about yeah. it already. Uh, ah, no, I have recent memory now. Okay, okay, okay. Yesterday was what my church. What was your church. favorite recent memory? Yesterday was my church um, concert, my church choir concert. And you Day performed. Was ah, set up. <laughs> See, I love my phone and my... And my green background in my house, I was on stage and for a second I was like, God of mercy. <laughs> I can't even see anybody here. Like the light and everything yeah. was just like, like God, please don't. And that's your first time, right? That's my first time. Wow. But aside my own, you know, performance, or let me say ministration. I like to call it ministration. Mm-hmm. Aside my own ministration, I enjoyed every bit. Of the concert. In fact, my church choir came in like, you are not ready for... You know when they said, yeah, you're yeah, you not ready for us. So like, uh, uh. <laughs> but honestly, I was not you ready. You are not ready. In hmm. fact, I was not ready. People have to do another one. because so This is like a shout-out to my church choir and to my <laughs> husband, Pastor Diola Bolaji. Oh, <laughs> yeah, indeed, a man of God. God bless yes, you. So, so number three. Is number that three. Um, hmm. 
What is your most prized possession? Ah, my baby. No, my baby is <laughs> no, priceless. No, I'm not from your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most prized possession. Like some most expensive possession, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, like something that if you lose, like... Maybe you okay, let me know answer. My phone. Your phone, right? My phone. My phone has yeah. my work stuff and all. Yeah, my phone. Okay. And I don't Tell what to go, eh. <laughs> Come on, go free. Number four. Number four. Oh, uh -uh. so, let me meet you very well. <laughs> <laughs> um what is the greatest accomplishment so far in your life? Greatest accomplishment. Ah. Greatest accomplishment. Ah. Salvation. No. <laughs> salvation. No. I say I have Christ. Ah, salvation. <laughs> God. Is God. Yeah. Salvation, please. Ah, every other thing is just saying. Uh, yeah. Ah, salvation. No. Ah. I can't imagine somebody outside of Christ. Mm -hmm. You are missing. Salvation. As in. Salvation. <laughs> number five. You just picked number four, number five. Okay, I like this one. What is on your bucket list uh, like that you have to do? Skydiving. Ah, uh, me too. My mom will see that video after, Sha. <laughs> I can't tell my mom, mommy, I'm about to skydive. She will see the video after. Oh my God! I remember when I went to the beach and I was playing. Mommy said, "Inu edit mo abi oti je mo ti yo ikoto ko eri ko ni ko lo so do ko lo so ko ko lo so." She's always scared of all these deserts, plain and all. So I think it's kind of okay. Yeah, maybe an a second only more to Singapore. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah. let me see it now. Please. <laughs> Singapore, please. Let's yeah, that's, I, I also really want to go to Singapore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, another number. 21. 21. These questions are a lot. 21. <laughs> it's up to 29, so. Okay. Yeah. No, I think well, it's Probably as I read some step. Number, what did you? 21. 21. Hmm. What is the most important decision you've ever made so far? Ah, marry my husband. Oh. Ah, yes, I can't just imagine. Yes, it's true. I mean, else. aside from marriage, like aside from salvation, marriage is ah. the child, the person you marry. Because oh, if you go and marry somebody that does not have sense, oh. Ha. I can't just imagine. My, ah, I beg. It has to be my husband. My husband. <laughs> ah, no, no, that guy is. Financially, my work, my career, like, my manager. Ah, that's my husband, I beg. Yeah. <laughs> May I have a question oh, apart yeah. from, well, okay, maybe you can. 25. 25. Okay, is about to I think go. it's about, yeah. Let me just ask this final question. It's kind of related to the first one. What are you most thankful for? Mm, my, my family, mm. my husband, my child, my parents, my friends, my work. Mm. Yes. Yeah, it's like, it's really a blessing to do the kind of work that brings fulfillment. Yes. So you're yes. really blessed, like, that yeah. you get to do what you, mm -hmm. it just warms your heart when you see exactly. how it's received and everything. Yes. So I wanted to ask, um, being that you are a pastor's wife mm. and <laughs> your husband is a pastor and you guys lead a church that is filled with, like, mostly young people. What was it like for you, like maintaining a godly relationship um, before you got married, obviously, you know, with your spouse? And how can somebody advise for people that are single, keep their relationships godly? Ah, uh, in all honesty, it's not, it's not easy. Why not if the guy is a monkey? <laughs> Very cute oh my guy. God. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> so I don't look at my husband and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. if you know my heart's desires right now, you will run. You <laughs> <laughs> Before you got married. <laughs> Before I got married, I'm like, oh, well, you know, we got it. What's your machine? My mom be like, what's all your right? Like, hmm. Hmm. My dear, you know, <laughs> so it's not easy, but you know, that's where grace comes in. Yeah. Hmm. Not the same. I remember one time I was going to visit my husband around, sorry, my fiance around that time, around 
we stay on camp. So mm -hmm. on camp, we used to joke that there's no night. There's, there's no, no yeah. So we'll be like, ah, ah, you're going to see a man by four o'clock. Hmm. It's already late oh, in the evening. And Four in the evening. And that, you ah. know, I decided I was talking to just one senior person. Ah, you know, without that, that four o'clock, they're already tired, their body's already calm. I'm like, <laughs> if I go seven way, the same spirits that will be there, same way, is what will still be there for here. It is my mind mm -hmm. and God's presence that will do. So there's no, ah, you're against 6 p.m. <laughs> If you like go 10 a.m., <laughs> if anything that I see going yes, to happen with actually, see, uh, uh, yeah. you can say anything in the morning too. His body is ready, you get. You, there are excuses to these things, you get and not. But I think that's where grace comes in. Mm. He does ask for grace. Just God, please help us. Mm. So you are not saying, ah, when we meet, we'll give, uh, we'll give ourselves five inches. When we meet, don't touch me. Don't smile. Don't do this one. Let's meet on the feed where everybody can see us. Let's meet in on the altar so that people will know that we are cutting. <laughs> oh, it's God. Let me just, let me just you know there are, you know there are, of course you have to put you know rules to these mm -hmm. things and not help yourself or not. But at the same time, God's grace mm -hmm. that is what you need. Yeah. Mm. How long were you guys together before you got married? Ah, hmm. our story is straight for another time. We used to be friends there at some point. We stopped talking, then we became friends again. Then that was during my NYC. Then, yes, we then we hit it up. <laughs> then 2019, you know, you know, we don't need to do this thing for too long. She will try to be my girlfriend. I'm like, a reason you, you know, you want not to try. You've been buying me food. So, of course. Food. <laughs> So, you know, it does got just, you know. <laughs> still yes, he proposed on my birthday. Oh. And, uh, and the next year we got married. How long have you guys known each other? When did you meet? Uh, we met at PSF 2015. Yes, I was about 2014 or 2015. 2014, I was about to resume year school. Yes, 2014. That was where we met officially. Like, I was like, ah, oh, five boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you, was it you that, no, the, I mean, uh, obviously I saw, I saw he asked first. you out. But yeah, I saw him first. From the beginning, you were already I like... I saw him first. So he did something in one program before convention. We were having work as meeting. So the VP said, oh, you know, let's celebrate this guy. He did something amazing in this previous program. Oh, please stand up, Adil, and he stood up, and I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> A trash, you know. I was just long with <laughs> bushy hair, yeah, yeah, I know. Very tall guy with bushy hair, yeah, and, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy it now. And that was it. Then they told me to go and call him, and I'm like, ha! Let's go and call that guy. They said, yes, please call him. He's very urgent. He has to be in one meeting. Then I went to meet him. Oh, Mister So 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 said I should call you. I know. He was still on his computer. Ha ah, ah. ha! Who is this proud guy? <laughs> They are calling you, Jerry. Like, ah, yeah. Like, is calling you. They said, okay, 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 I'll be there. I said, ah, they said I should. That they know you are busy, so you have to come with me. Yeah. Okay, okay. I said, okay, I'm waiting. And I stood up, we're now working together. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I you know when one WhatsApp group like that, and it was doing designs for people. And then there's a way they'll make it look like a cartoon. And so, mm. so he was doing it. Then we had we just launched a new shirt in PSF, and he was doing it for people. And I'm like, ah, if you don't mind, my name is Mulwa. Nice work with what you are doing in media. I think it was the assist, it was the media member, maybe assistant in studio or something. I'm like, ah, do you mind doing one for me? I'm like, ah, I know you now. You get I used to talk too much on the WhatsApp group. Ah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, I will feel your ears one time just as your wife. But <laughs> <laughs> you, know, well, you already I liked know. him. At this yeah, point. yeah, I liked him. I know. And you know, God just breath. <laughs> and pew, here we are with the baby. <laughs> oh God, I love it. You're so like I. I really, really love spending time with you. Um, did you always know that you were going to do? It seems like that is in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying. 
<laughs> Did you always know you were going to do acting? And all? I've always been a drama queen. I've, oh God. <laughs> I've always been a drama queen. So yeah, it's, it's just there. It's just it's just there it's natural. It's just natural. Mm. It's just there. But did you want to do something relating to this, or I mean, I've already done school. Yes, so. I've always. If I wanted theater at the UI, I, ah. I wanted it so bad. I'm like, I want to become an actor. I want to go to UI. Wow. UI has because I checked all these top people and they all went to UI or OAU or mm. Unilag, and mm. so I wanted UI. I'm like, ah, let me go to UI theater hard and now. But as God, we have it to save our Babla University. So I asked them, do you have theater? They say, yeah, we have Masco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Masco, no, no, you still be in front of the camera and you still do. Yeah. Okay. I could just, you know, did it. And here we are. Uh, okay, I think we should try to wrap up now. I don't even want to end. I have so many questions, but maybe next time. Next time. <laughs> Maybe another time it will be with other people. Yeah. So we'll share the <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. This thank has you. been so amazing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> In Dubai. <laughs> thank you yeah, thank so you. much. It's a privilege. Thank you so much for watching today's Shining Light session. I'd like to know what stood out to you the most during the interview. Let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Check out this next video. I'm sure it will be a blessing to you.